Miss Ann here today and I wanted to show you this amazing new technique which is foil embossing. Look at this cool background that I created on this card and I'm going to teach you how to do that today. I'll have full instructions for the entire card on my blog. I'm going to start with a piece of our gold foil and what I'm going to do first is using our uh, black archival stamp pad I'm going to just drag that over my gold foil paper and there really isn't any uh, specific way that you have to do this I just kind of want to cover it with some black. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to take these butterflies from our new Ronald McDonald stamp set that is uh, Sharing Sweet Thoughts. It's got these cute, uh, there's three of these butterflies. And I'm just going to ink up my stamp with Versamark. And then I'm just going to randomly stamp these butterflies on the foil. You can really do as many or as few as you want. We're going to keep repeating this technique using some different embossing powders. Okay, and these clear ones sometimes pop off the block, but you just put them right back on and you're good to go. Now, I've got my gold embossing powder here and I am just going to use it. I like to put mine, take it out of the little pot it comes in and I like to put it in these gladware things because it's a little bit easier to use. Okay, I'm going to tap off a little bit more of that off the screen here. There we go. Now I'm going to just come in with my heat tool and I'm going to heat this up. And you'll notice, hopefully you can see this, as the heat goes, these butterflies will start to get shiny and then some of the other embossing powder that's still on there will also appear on the foil. Now a lot of times when you do embossing you don't want the powder to get on there but for this technique it really doesn't matter at all. Okay so that's my first layer and hopefully you can see some of these uh, butterflies like right here and up here and then there's some of the embossing powder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I want to stamp a couple silver butterflies. Well, I'm going to stamp them in Versamark and then I'm going to pour my silver embossing powder over it and they will become silver butterflies. Okay, so let's bring in our silver embossing powder. Tap and I'm going to heat that up again. Okay, you can, well, I can see these silver ones start to materialize. I don't know if you'll be able to see them yet, but I'm going to hold it up here to the camera in a sec, and you'll be able to see those. All right. Okay, there we go. Can you see those silver butterflies? There's some over here and a few up there. Okie doke. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versamark. Actually, nope, you know, I was going to skip a step here. I'm going to put this piece of gold uh, foil into my 
uh, layered leaves embossing folder and I want the leaves to be embossed and stick out rather than debossed so I'm going to put it into my embossing folder with the Stampin' Up! logo on the top. Then I'm going to use my Big Shot platform and I'm only going to use one clear plate. And I'm going to just run it through off the camera here. You only want to use one plate when you use these great new thick embossing folders because if you try to use two it won't work very well. Now hopefully you can see too that there's none of the black ink on my embossing folder. That's because I heated it before I ran it through. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versamark and I'm just going to rub it over some of these raised leaves and then I'm going to put some around the edges too. Then I'm going to use my copper embossing powder. Now I want to show you right here I have a little bit more of the embossing powder than I would like so all I'm going to do is come in with my finger and I'm going to rub off a little of that. I want it just a little more sparse and I'm going to do it down here a little bit too. Okay, I think that's where I want it now. I'm going to come back in with my heat tool and now I'm going to heat it up with this copper. And I chose to stamp these butterflies and then emboss them, but you do not have to stamp at all. This technique is great if you want to just put your embossing powder on the foil. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is I want a little bit more black to show through on this. So I'm going to come in again with my black pad and I'm going to just get a little more on here. I really like the black on this so I'm going to just rub it on that again using the direct to paper technique. And once you get it set the way you like it, you'll just come back in with your embossing tool, your heat gun, and you'll heat it up and this will set it. And it comes out different every time you do this because sometimes you'll use more gold, sometimes you'll use more silver, and actually you can use any color of, emb of embossing powder that you want. Okay, there we go. Can you see that black on there now? And then, just to show you, I'm going to rub it on here and there's just a couple little black specks on there. That's the final thing you want to do to make sure that your card is fully dry. Now look here, isn't that cool how these look different? And then you can take your piece, you could actually die cut it into a shape if you wanted. You could cut this up and just use it on borders. But like I did here, I actually used the same embossing folder to emboss my black cardstock. Then here I used more uh, copper embossing powder. And this is just our silver metallic thread and our quarter inch uh, copper trim. So remember, I'll have this project on my blog at stampmaven.com so you can get all the measurements and all the supplies that you need. Well, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed learning this new technique. See you next time.